One of the key approaches to trigger collective behavior change is community-led total sanitation. It has become a very well-established methodology to trigger collective behavior change. And this collective behavior change has, as a result of this, 50 million people across Asia, Africa, Latin America living in open defecation free environment. I think the main takeaways message from this debate is okay, our sector, water sanitation and hygiene sector, we need to now think about the behavior change aspects, bringing about the motivational drivers in place, bringing behavioral products in place, uh, making sure that the behavior change, the new behaviors are becoming uh, social norms rather than kind of. Uh, um, one of exercise. The second one is behavior change is not about individual behavior but also making sure that the, the environment is conducive and the institutions are in place. So therefore identifying the right institution, right institutional mechanism, triggering the donor interest behavior and the, the policy makers behavior in order to offer that conducive environment for us to design, implement and evaluate the better programming. So one of the things about behavioral change, especially around the sanitation value chain, is that we have behaviors across all of it. But currently the sanitation sector focuses primarily on their users in terms of hand washing, in terms of toilet demand and creation around that, which is very important and critical. But if we're talking about trying to address and meet our SDG goals for 2030, if we're talking about improving fecal sludge management, that requires looking at behaviors across the chain when we're talking about emptying, transport, treatment. So I think that's one of the critical things. We need to expand our programming and even our mindsets around that, around what are we hoping to change? What do we need to target? Um, what research as well as what programming do we need to institute as a result to try to improve those sanitation outcomes?